An important message from participants at one of four workshops held as part of the 2016 series of the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission JADCO's Junior Athletes Anti-Doping Education Workshops. The series of workshops were held at four locations island-wide to accommodate participants. The Golf View Hotel in Manchester, the Wexford Hotel in St. James, the Cardiff Hotel and Spa in St. Anne, and at the Jamaica Conference Centre in Kingston between October and November 2016. Several secondary school student athletes and their support personnel turned out at the different locations to learn about several topics in anti-doping and to interact with the JADCO team. It is often said that the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. We are all here because we support one common goal, the continued protection of our sporting program. Athletes, while you work to develop yourself at your sport of choice, remember that it not only involves hard days of physical training and mental conditioning, excelling at sport is also about fair play, respecting opponents, rules of the games, and staying clear of anti-doping rule violations. During the workshops, participants were able to get information on a variety of topics, including the role and functions of JADCO, making ethical decisions, anti-doping rule violations and sanctions, the doping control process, the health consequences of doping, and the dangers of supplement use. They were also able to ask questions and get clarification on issues of importance. Eating and using banned substances, when, when, when does it become so severe that he's brought up to an international organization? We don't need it, we don't need it. You what them say? If you think you need that thing for make you go a lead, just go. This year's workshops featured the launch of the 2016 JADCO poster competition. Cash and other prizes await secondary school students who can design an eye-catching poster under the theme, No Dope to Cope. First place will win $30,000 and a trophy. Second place will receive $20,000 and a trophy. And third place will attract $15,000 and a plaque. As part of the launch, the winner of the 2014 JADCO mascot competition, Ajane Billings of Arden High School, proudly shared his experience since winning that competition and encouraged others to take advantage of the opportunity to participate in the poster competition. I stand here today not only to encourage who is eligible to enter this competition as it will bring about great benefits, but also to urge every person in here to take advantage of every single opportunity you have to shine and to spread positive messages no matter how small it may seem. Ajane submitted the winning design which was created into an actual mascot which has featured prominently in the Commission's educational and promotional activities since being revealed to the public in 2015. And after winning the competition, I gained recognition beyond measure. The story was publicized in the media platforms, and persons both known and unknown to me congratulated me on my accomplishment. Participants not only got valuable information, but they also had the chance to express their creativity and win prizes by giving their interpretation of the Jadco theme song, and they jumped at the opportunity. All we need, yam banana potato mixed with the kalaloo and the carrot. We only need from food from 14 parish like yam potato and the Irish. We no need no. This doping take over everything just because people want run a farin. Jamaican at least not do them thing. That's why we no do the drug thing. We no do. We don't need no dope. We. We don't need no doting, no doting, no laugh. No, this is not a doting. We no feed the steroids, no marijuana. This is people made us around here. 
the same drugs where you take my end up Turn round for be in karma Yo, we are gonna roll as a team, we are gonna pan Yeah, so we can, we no get pan One team, one dream, if you understand one plan We not in no a program, can we? We don't need a doctor, no doctor at the end of the workshops, participants were eager to share their experiences and the lessons they will take away. I learned that if you take dope, intentionally or unintentionally, you're at fault. Even if the coach gives it to you, or I don't know, you're at fault. The most important thing I, that I learned about and the doping is that uh, it, it's not a really good um, method to get, uh, get along good in sports. Uh, because it has a lot of bad side effects uh, on your body. It enhances uh, your, your body performance, but uh, when found out that you have done it, it uh, can be um, penalties. Uh. Participants also shared their take of the health consequences of doping. Well, the health consequences of doping that I learned about today are, are the risk factors in terms of heart diseases, uh, blood clots, um, basically every factor that can affect you as a human re physiologically. It is not a good thing because it can give you heart attack and diseases and cause damages to your health and so. During the workshop, the students also learned about the importance of making ethical decisions. It is important to make ethical decisions because it helps me to play fair, follow the rules and keep calm and focus at every game and it also shows good sportsmanship and build good character. It is important for me to make ethical decisions because whatever I do, it reflects on me, my coaches and persons around me. Several participants agreed that they would recommend the workshop to others. I will recommend this workshop to my peers and I will come again because it has educated me on a lot of things. Yes, I would encourage other persons to attend a workshop like this because um, it provides with useful information that someone, other persons may not know and you may, may learn something new that you may be doing wrong all along and you can correct, correct it. Pauline Richards, a physical education teacher at Yellis High School, uses the workshop as part of her teaching tools and ensures that her students attend each year. I bring children from a wide cross section. I bring from the football team, the netball team, and also those students who are doing the CXE physical education and sport. The CX it forms a part of the syllabus. What I would do is collect the the pamphlets and carry it to the others so that they can also be privileged to the information. The students that are targeted for you know this this workshop was really you know thought of properly. I think um, the students at this age they are at a critical time where decisions are you know the forefront of their future and when we have programs like this that, that enrich them, educate them as the way they should go, then we wouldn't have a problem in our future in terms of, you know, cheating. The series of workshops will continue to be held annually as JADCO remains committed to the fight against doping in sport. To get more information, contact JADCO by calling 993500 or visiting 5 to 9 South Odeon Avenue, Kingston 10. You may also log on to www.jadco.gov.jm. Feel free to also check out our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube or Twitter pages.